Hi gamers! The PlayStation 2 is the most game-rich console there is with its thousands of releases worldwide. And uh, I too have uh, my second biggest game collection for it after the Nintendo 64 of course. I got here, mm, well, uh, a little over 200 games if you count the Wives SingStar games and a little under 200 if you don't. So I do have a lot of ground to cover here. There are actually more games uh, above and below the screen here. I can't even fit them all here. So this is gonna be a long video no matter what. But uh, I, uh, I'm gonna try to keep the uh, descriptions of the games here pretty short and uh, well I have to admit that one reason for that also is uh, that uh, I guess uh, most of these are basically for collecting purposes uh, thanks to very cheap prices at uh, GameStop a few years back when they were uh, getting rid of uh, all their PlayStation 2 games uh, for you know like get five or ten euros or something like that so I, I, I think I've amassed like half of these games from deals like that and uh, very happy to have them very very nice uh, collection of games of course I'm still missing lots and lots of great games but this is still a nice nice collection but uh, yeah as a result I haven't <laughs> haven't uh, played nearly all of these so if you'll excuse me I'll just uh, you know let's check out what games I have here uh, take a look at the European covers and uh, have some fun and uh, uh, as you can see here uh, European games have this uniform uh, spine with the black and white uh, uh, striking design here uh, the ones that have have the uh, colors are you know either uh, US or Japanese games but uh, Europe pretty much stuck to the uh, uniform look here and uh, I do think that it looks kind of nice on the shelf but let's start here let's do a little focus So, Amplitude from Harmonix, better known as uh, the uh, makers of the first Guitar Hero and Rock Band games. Pretty uh, influential games uh, they made here on the PlayStation 2 as well. Ape Escape 2. Aqua Aqua Vetrix 2. Uh, I just had to get this because this is a sequel to a Nintendo 64 game. <laughs> Wetrix. R. Tonelico, Melody of Elemia. R. Tonelico 2, uh, Melody of Metaphalica. Lots of um, uh, obscure RPGs on the PlayStation 2, not just the well known Final Fantasies. Astro Boy. Auto Modelista, a really gorgeous cell shaded driving game. And I also have a few promo copies. Here is a, a promo copy, a press copy of uh, Auto Modelista. And uh, yeah, there are full games, just have these special looking discs here. And uh, come in these uh, thin jewel cases. And uh, I just know at this point I'm going to be messing up my uh, <laughs> alphabetical order yet again because I have the <laughs> uh, promo games on a different uh, different uh, uh, shelf here. But I'll just try to uh, be up to the task. Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. Beyond Good and Evil. Cult classic, of course. Black. Uh, this was uh, at the time touted as uh, EA's. Uh, tried to do the same to uh, action games, first person shooters, uh, than they did with uh, Burnout series that did to racing. Yeah, pretty nice action. Breath of Fire, Dragon Quarter.
Burnout 3 takedown. Probably the best in the series, at least in, in this generation. Really, really fantastic. Uh, racing, action, great. Uh, great uh, slowdowns and uh, great explosions. Kenis Kanem Edit, also known as Bully from Rockstar. And then some arcade classics, Capcom Classics Collection 1 and 2. Capcom Fighting Jam, one of the worst fighting games that Capcom has made. Then another promo, Castlevania Curse of Darkness. Contra, Shattered Soldier, uh, basically a 2D shooter with, the, with uh, 3D graphics and uh, one of my favorite action games on the PlayStation 2. Dark Chronicle, Dead or Alive 2. Deus Ex. Nice to have uh, a port of this on the PlayStation 2 as well, even though it's it's uh, not nearly up to par to the PC original. And then oh, quite a important game series, uh, Devil May Cry. One, two, three and three special edition which uh wonder what this included yeah new moves play as virgil maximum style <laughs> this gaia hour of darkness and then my first japanese game uh, Dodonpachi Daioju, uh, which is a gorgeous, gorgeous 2D uh, vertical shooter. Really climbing up in value these days, these 2D shooters on the PlayStation 2. Here is one of them. We got quite a... Uh, this Dragon Blaze. We got uh, quite a few uh, of these. For some reason we got released over here in Europe that even the US didn't get. So. Uh, thanks to 505 Game Street for bringing over some cult classics. Dragon Quest, The Journey of the Cursed King. It's uh, missing the Dragon Quest VIII name because this was the first Dragon Quest game ever to be released in Europe. <laughs> yeah, we, we really did wait that long. Fantastic game by Level 5. Driving Emotion Type S. Yeah, Squaresoft uh, did other stuff as well than just uh, RPGs. They did, you know, the Bouncer here on the PlayStation 2, an action game, beat em up game, and uh, a driving game as well. Dynasty Warriors 2. Echo the Dolphin, Defender of the Future. Ephemeral Fantasia. EverQuest Online Adventures. And uh, yeah, this is a, a, a promo game again that has the uh, <laughs> activation code printed right on the insert here. Fantavision, one of uh, the launch games for the PlayStation 2 and uh, quite a unique game. It's basically a, uh, a fireworks simulator. <laughs> and I also got here a Japanese version of the game. And 
then Final Fantasy X, uh, one of the most hyped PlayStation 2 games ever, and uh, yeah, looked very gorgeous back in the day, especially the FMV sequences. And uh, this uh, has a nice, nice bonus disc included, uh, uh, which has some music and videos uh, from around the game. And I also have a Japanese version of this as well. Final Fantasy X2. And Final Fantasy XII. I got here one opened and one sealed copy. Great game. Flat out, Go Finland, made by Bugbear, great arcade, or, well, not even arcade, maybe it's uh, more of a simulator, not sure <laughs> if it's more simulator or arcade, but looks gorgeous, plays great, flat out too, as well. Forgotten Realms, Demon Stone. Freak Out, one of the lesser known treasure games, and uh, yeah, not one of their best games, for sure. And a little doubling back to the letter E, missed my two iToy games, iToy Play, with camera, and iToy Antigrav, which is probably the best you know, a real game that uh, made use of the iToy camera, made by Harmonix. As is this game, Frequency, so the other uh, uh, trailblazing um, rhythm, ga rhythm game that they made on the PlayStation 2. From Russia with Love, Sean Connery back as Bond, The Getaway, which was Sony's attempt to make their own Grand Theft Auto, didn't go <laughs> quite as well, Gigawing Generations, another one of those 2D shooters, great stuff. God Hand, a cult uh, action classic. Then we have God of War and a sealed copy of uh, God of War 2 Special Edition. Fantastic games, one of the best, uh, best looking games on the console. Radius 5, really uh, one of the best uh, 2D shooters on the system, and uh, this is uh, horizontal, so not vertical, like most of them are. Made by Treasure for Konami. And then we have some true classics, Grand Theft Auto. This is the double pack, which includes 3 and Vice City. I also have here third game as a promo, and Grand Theft Auto 3 was uh, it, it was really one of the biggest games of the generation, and uh, it it really made its uh, made its uh, impact on popular culture uh, as well as uh, the gaming world, and it was something really really unique at the time, and uh, no wonder it became so. Uh, so uh, popular. It was a great game as a 2D game, but uh, when they first made it uh, a 3D, 3D game with GTA 3, uh, the sky was the limit after that. And uh, here are also a couple of ports from the PSP, uh, GTA Liberty City Stories and Vice City Stories. Uh, 
then some Gran Turismo games, Gran Turismo 3, A-Spec, Gran Turismo Concept, uh, 2002 Tokyo Geneva, Gran Turismo 4 Prologue, and uh, I also have here a Japanese version of that. And the final release, Gran Turismo 4. Grim Grimoire, more RPG goodness. Guilty Gear Isuka, a gorgeous 2D uh, fighter, and uh, I think one of the few games that use the multi-tap for the PlayStation 2, so you could play this with four players. Gun. One of, uh, you know, uh, it is funny how few uh, Western games there was, especially before Red Dead Redemption. Well, there was a, a Red Dead Revolver for this uh, generation as well. But uh, yeah, Gun was something a, b a bit uh, ahead of its time, I guess. Gunbird, special edition, more 2D shooters. Half-Life, one of the best games ever, and uh, it's nice that it had a PlayStation 2 port as well. Hitman, Blood Money. And yet again, some 2D shooters, Homura, and from Japan, Ibarra of the more sought-after shooters on the system, for sure. And then we have Eco. Really a, uh, an experience, uh, almost as much as it is a game, and uh, the atmosphere is, is really unique, and uh, you just can't, can't not love Eco. Uh, looks gorgeous, plays Place great, even though there are some some places where you might be a little frustrated. With uh, you know, you have to uh, walk the girl through the castle, but uh, yeah, it's just a, such a unique game. And the sequel is coming up later in this uh, this video. Well, the spiritual sequel. Then from Naughty Dog, lots of Jack and Dexter games. Jack and Daxter, the Precursor Legacy. A Jack 2 Renegade. A Jack 3. And uh, then Nord Dog also made Jack X, which was a racing game. But uh, this one wasn't made by Naughty Dog anymore. Jack and Daxter, uh, this is the Finnish title, Kadonut Maailma, is it the Lost World? Not sure <laughs> uh, what, uh, what's the English name, but uh, yeah, this wasn't, wasn't as great as the Naughty Dog originals, of course. Killer7. Uh, of course, they started out on the GameCube, and uh, it was still a fantastic, unique game on the PlayStation 2 as well. Killzone, the premier uh, exclusive shooter on the PlayStation 2, wasn't really the Halo killer it was uh, meant to be, but uh, still a nice, nice game. Uh, Peter Jackson's King Kong, the official game of the movie. Nice title here with the game. This is the limited collect collector's edition and it's still sealed. Kingdom Hearts. That's a really, really uh, huge fan base which are anxiously waiting for the next installments, but it all started here on the PlayStation 2. Also got here Kingdom Hearts 2. 
then some King of Fighters games. Got here King of Fighters Maximum Impact also includes this moves book and uh, I got a promo of uh, Maximum Impact 2 and also King of Fighters 11. Nice updates from the Neo Geo for the series. Clonoa 2, Lunatias Veil. Lego Batman, the video game. There were a ton of Lego games on the PlayStation 2, as on any other platform. Just got here too. So Batman and Lego Indiana Jones, the original adventures. Lemmings, classic series. Lumines Plus. And of course, Lumines was one of the killer apps for the PSP. And uh, as uh, every portable game system should have uh, the puzzle game for it, but uh, they also make this, made this plus version for the PS2. Mana Chemia Alchemists of Al Revis. Then Manhunt, one of the darker games that Rockstar made. And I also have here a promo of the second game. Then Marvel vs. Capcom 2, one of the uh, greatest fighting games by Capcom ever. This was an absolute riot. And I believe these were quite valuable at some point in time when they hadn't released them um, on, you know, uh, live arcade, stuff like that. So these were quite expensive games. Fantastic stuff. Maximo. And then Max Payne. Also have here the autograph of uh, Sami Järvi or Sam Lake, as you might know him. And here, Max Payne 2, The Fall of Max Payne. So nice. A bit of Finnish gaming history, even though, of course, it was originally a PC game. But uh, glad they also brought it over to consoles as well. I actually played it through the first time uh, on the original Xbox. MDK2, Armageddon. Then... Mega Man X7 and Mega Man X8, which are uh, a bit of a shame because uh, they really had to had to do 3D gameplay. Now that uh, you are on a brand new console, and uh, yeah, these really aren't as good as any of the previous Mega Man games. So hopefully, their uh, return with uh, Mega Man X9 someday with a true 2D gameplay. Metal Arms, Glitch in the System. And then Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty. One of my favorite games on the system. And uh, my favorite game in the whole series. Metal Gear Solid is fantastic. There's also the Substance version, a beefed up version of the game. And uh, the third game as well, Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. This is the metal edition of the game. And uh, there was also uh, an enhanced version of that, Metal Gear Solid 3 Subsistence. Essential games on the PlayStation 2. Metal Slug Anthology. I love Metal Slug, one of my favorite game series of all time. And uh, even though I do have all the original games, uh, either for the 
uh, Neo Geo AES or MVS. Uh, just uh, couldn't resist getting this anthology as well. Well, it does have Metal Slug 6, which wasn't a Neo Geo game, it was for the Atomis Wave arcade board. So it was nice to finally play that game, finally as well. Mobile Light Force 2, which uh, even though the cover is like this, it's not really a Charlie's Angels game. It's actually actually a, a 2D shooter, which has you know this picture has nothing to do with with the game. This is just hilariously wrong in <laughs> in every respect. But a fantastic game. Mist 3 Exile, and I just love that. It has a bonus Primus official strategy guide in this box. So a game actually has the strategy guide with it. So not really <laughs> not really have high hopes for the players to finish the game on their own. Then Namco Museum 50th anniversary. Lots of classic Namco arcade hits here. And then a light gun game. Ninja Assault also includes the iconic G Gun 2 uh, Namco's light gun, which is a pretty decent gun. Odin Sphere. Okami. It's basically a Zelda in disguise. It has a, um, a quite similar structure to it, but of course Okami is a uni very unique game. Uh, fantastic, uh, 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 unique uh, presentation, graphics, and uh, some really nice gameplay, uh, unique gameplay elements as well with the magic paintbrush. And I uh, also have here the promo. Oni, Onimusha Warlords, Onimusha 2, and Onimusha 3, which also stars Jean Reno. Shin Megami Tensei Persona 4. Uh, Persona is of course a, a cult uh, game series both in Japan and in the West, so has a, has a really rabid fan base. Then a promo version of Fantasy Star Universe, Ambition of the Illuminus. Project Zero Three, The Tormented. Looking forward to Project Zero Five or Fatal Frame Five on the Wii U. Hopefully, it will get released outside of Japan as well. Psychonauts, really quirky. One of Tim Schafer's uh, uh, love childs, I'm sure, and uh, I have here. Uh, Tim's signature and a little doodle here uh, and uh, I as he assigned it here Sony Party 2011 I met him when I was visiting E3 that year so and uh, as a good uh, game collector I had a selection of uh, game inserts in my backpack so when I saw uh, a familiar face I took out the corresponding uh, game insert and uh, went up to that person and asked him to uh, sign a game. But uh, Tim Schafer was uh, the only one who I met that I had a game uh, from him with it. So uh, this was a nice, nice little memory uh, souvenir from that my trip, my only trip to E3. Cyberior Complete Edition even more 2D shooters. There were really a lot of them on the PlayStation 2. 
Quake 3 Revolution. Radiata Stories. Oh, what's this? A 2D shooter. Raiden 3. Great stuff. And uh, then one of the more classic series on the PS2, Ratchet and Clank. So I got here the first game, Ratchet and Clank 2, locked and loaded, Ratchet and Clank 3, and the two spin-off games as well, Ratchet and Gladiator and Secret Agent Clank. Some more platforming goodness, Rayman 3. This has a 3D lenticular cover, this version, not sure if you can see it. And also Rayman Revolution. Red Faction. Resident Evil Outbreak. File 2. And uh, this was an online playable Resident Evil. And uh, it was a pretty unique take on the uh, old formula. I never played this online, but I, I would have liked to. And then we have Res. Uh, of course, Res was first released on the Dreamcast, but after Sega didn't do consoles anymore, they released many of their games on other platforms as well, and PS2 got one of the best, Res, one of my favorite uh, on-rail shooters, and uh, really a gorgeous game to look and listen to, even to, even to this day. Uh, in Japan, this game got quite a weird peripheral. It was the Res Trans Vibrator. And it really is as, as weird as it sounds. Let's take a look at here. Well, let's open it like this. So the vibrator uh, looks like this uh, little slab. So you can, there is no way to attach it to your wrist or uh, anything like that. I, I think the, you, you're supposed to sit on this. And uh, <laughs> no, take your mind out of the gutter. Uh, only don't, because if you Google uh, well, rest trans vibrator, you can get some pretty racy stories about using this. This vibrates to the music in the game, and uh, again, pretty unique stuff. Uh, only in Japan. Then some classic racing from Namco Ridge Racer 5. And also got here a Japanese version of the game. There was also another driving game, uh, R Racing, which is, you know, uh, Ridge Racer in all but the name, basically. Then Rogue Galaxy, a huge, huge RPG from uh, level 5. It's like, uh, I don't know, 100, 200 hours long. Really, really an, an old school RPG. R Type Final. Again, another 2D shooter, but of course our type is a really well-known series, and uh, this really was the uh, last uh, traditional R type game in the series. Uh, not sure if they're planning on reviving the series at some point, but this was really a, a big deal when they announced that this would be the last R type shooter there is. So hence R type final, and I included a huge uh, selection of ships to play as. And 
promo Rumble Roses are really <laughs> a guilty pleasure of a wrestling game. Let's put it like that. Finally starting the last column here. Scarface, the world is yours, collector's edition. Sega Superstars, a fun eye toy game with uh, uh, many Sega mascots. Shadow Man 2, Second Coming. And then Shadow of the Colossus. I got here one opened and uh, one sealed in a similar cardboard uh, case than with Eco. And uh, like I said, this is the uh, spiritual successor of Eco. And uh, this is my favorite game on the PlayStation 2. Uh, the game world is it, its so eerie and so unique. There really isn't anything quite like Shadow of the Colossus uh, anywhere else. And uh, I just just love the design and the uh, scope of the uh, well, the Colossi and the world and everything. Uh, it's you know the huge game world which is empty uh, for the most part, and uh, you're free to explore it. And uh, there just isn't nothing there. It, it really is a, a unique experience. And I, I hope that everybody plays through this game at least once in their lifetime. My favorite PS2 game. And then some Shin Megami Tensei games. Digital Devil Saga. And uh, Digital Devil Saga 2 Collector's Edition, which includes this original soundtrack. And Shin Megami Tensei Lucifer's Call. Then Shinobi from Sega, and a uh, um, surprisingly good action game. Shinobi is, is great fun. Then some big classics again, Silent Hill 2. And uh, of course, I always also have here Silent Hill 3 and Silent Hill 4. Of course, all are fantastic, fantastic horror games, and I can't wait for, for them to uh, make uh, you know, get a Silent Hill back in the form of Silent Hills, the upcoming game. But uh, I know I'm pretty alone with my opinion here, but uh, I think that Silent Hill 4 is the best game in the series so far. Uh, it, it wasn't really well liked uh, universally, but to me the uh, the room concept and uh, whereas it's it's your only place of um, comfort, basically you're just fearing that you have to leave the room and uh, later on in the game when you're not even safe in the room, uh, it just uh, becomes so so terrifying to me. I just love the atmosphere in, in Silent Hill 4, the room. Sylphid, The Lost Planet. Then, after Jack and uh, Ratchet and Clank, the third uh, platforming series, Sly Raccoon. And uh, Sly 2, Konna Coppola in Finnish. <laughs> uh, actually, I'm missing uh, the third game in the series still because I haven't found it uh, with the 3D glasses intact. So. I uh, gotta get it uh, complete in the box before I can add it to my collection. Sonic Riders, a terrible racing game basically with Sonic. And uh, Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell Chaos Theory. And uh, Splinter Cell games were released on all the uh, consoles of the generation, but I guess they were at their best on the Xbox, and uh, especially with the online play uh, with, of the of the series, which was really held in high regard, especially on the Xbox. 
and another eye toy game, Spy Toy. Be the ultimate agent. SSX, a classic snowboarding game. Some more fighting games from Capcom. Street Fighter, Al Street Fighter Alpha Anthology. Suikoden 4. Suikoden is a really, really held in high regard in the strategy RPG genre. Super Bust a Move, one of the ugliest covers ever on a video game, uh, uh, but it, it is still a classic game. It started out uh, on the Neo Geo and uh, it has since been. Uh, released on many other platforms as well. Fantastic puzzle game. Then another uh, collection of arcade uh, uh, classics, this time from Taito, Taito Legends 1 and 2. Tekken 5 Tengai More 2D shooters The Nightmare of Druaga Fushigi no Dungeon Thunder Force 6 I got this uh, brand new when it was first released got it as an import from Japan uh, because I'm a huge fan of Thunder Force. Thunder Force 4 is one of my favorite, all-time favorite uh, 2D shooters, horizontal shooters, but this was a bit of a letdown. This wasn't really, not sure why, but it wasn't really as, as good as the uh, previous games were. Still a nice quality game. Time Splitters, first game here, and uh, there were a total of three released for uh, in, in in this generation. But I only have the first game for the PlayStation 2 here, and uh, of course, Time Splitters is uh, really famous for not taking itself too seriously. But it's still a fantastic first-person shooter, especially uh, on a console. And also have here a second um, light gun game, Time Crisis 3. Also includes the G-Con 2 gun. Then Transformers, which was one of the most pleasant surprises of this generation. People were e expecting a, a standard horrible uh, uh, licensed game, but Transformers really blew everybody away. This was a really good game. Uh, great action, great gameplay, really good use of the license. Transformers was really really a great uh, one, of, one of the best action games on the PlayStation 2, for sure. And uh, also have a promo here. This is a cool, cool cover with this uh, little elevated window inside, and you can see the game inside there. Good stuff. Unreal Tournament. Valkyrie Profile 2, Silmeria. Beautiful Joe 2, of course, started out on the GameCube, but was also released on the PS2 as well. Then a promo of Virtua Cup, uh, Elite Edition, a light gun game. One of the best fighting game uh, series ever, Virtua Fighter 4, and uh, also the uh, uh, 
evolution version here. War of the Monsters. We love Katamari. Uh, great humor, uh, really quirky game. Uh, basically roll, ar roll around a ball uh, which uh, absorbs or uh, attaches anything smaller than the said ball to it and uh, uh, you roll around the uh, world there and uh, it's just, uh, just a joy to play and uh, <laughs> a really, really uh, heartwarming game. It, it, you can't really play this game without a smile coming to your face. Wild Arms 3 and then a couple of Wipeout games classic PlayStation race, futuristic racing games Wipeout Fusion and Wipeout Pulse getting closer to the end here but uh, watch one more 2D shooter before that uh, 12 stag, not one of the better shooters on the PS2, but still, gotta collect them, collect them all. And then, really held in high regard this series, Yakuza and uh, Yakuza 2. Also have here the first game as a promo. It's uh, pretty fun to collect. Uh, uh, these uh, promos as well for uh, good games. And finally, we got two games left. Zone of the Enders and uh, Zone of the Enders the Second Runner. Produced by Hideo Kojima, uh, who also made, of course, made the Metal Gear series. And uh, the first Zone of the Enders is of course famous by including uh, a demo of uh, Metal Gear Solid 2 and uh, people really bought this game uh, most people bought this game I, I guess for the demo and actually played the short demo more than they played the actual game but uh, still Zone of the Enders has their uh, has its own uh, uh, fans and uh, here's hoping for the third game of the series coming out sooner, better than later. Whew! That was it for my PlayStation 2 game collection. Thanks for watching this long video. I'll see you next time. Bye!